What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan coming at you with a uh, some Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And what we're doing today is we're going over what I've done with the castle so far. And then we're also going to... Uh, I'll show you the expansion I'm doing beneath the castle area. So first of all, that's what I've created so far of the castle. This is kind of like the um, grand entrance type thing. <coughs> Excuse me. These here, or the, um, the, the towers in the front, I guess. And up here, now you get a nice little view. Actually, one second, you guys. For some reason, my allergies are going crazy today. But anyways, so as I was saying, this is just your tower. You know, you got a nice view. You can see the wizard's keep from here. Go over this way, you're going to be able to see the uh, the castle and stuff on the mountainside there. and You get a good nice view all around. And so that's the design I came up with for the towers. And I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Instead of windows, you have um, nether brick fenced holes in the wall for the windows, which I think worked pretty well. And then over here, we have a water fountain. And then we have water that runs from the fountain out the edge of the eye of the floating island, which I'll show you guys. Underneath here, we just have a little waiting area with some bookcases. You know, just something kind of simple. Up over here we have our staircase to the kind of reception room where the the monarch can sit and greet his people. Yay. Um, and that's kind of how I designed that. I think I, I like the look of it. I think it looks pretty cool with the uh, the back of the chair and stuff and the, the two paintings flanking it and then I did some some designs on the windows as you can see just something kind of simple with some stairs and then it comes out here which is going to lead this is this is actually going to lead into the main the main or the larger portion of the castle and connect I'll probably do covered walkways somehow I think to it or I'll just bring the walkways closer I'll make them stop closer and have the castle start sooner I'm not sure yet um, so what I want to do now is I want to show you guys the the ground level of the of the island and I'm pretty sure it's safe to drop I haven't done this much Whoop! there we go So from this level, you can see the bridge has some posts or uh, columns to support it. The island is made out of stone, cobblestone, and dirt. And it comes down to a point. It was magically made. That's why it's so perfect. Um, and it has waterfalls that come out of the edges of each side and the corners. So I think the, the island is what took me the longest. It took me probably a good 10 hours, 12 hours to do straight, just working on it nonstop. Getting the materials for that was kind of a pain. Though it wasn't as hard as I thought because I did get a lot of materials from taking out this huge section of land that was there. And I'll show you where else I got some materials from here in a few minutes. But it turned out pretty good. And then I get the pillars here to support the... Uh, those and if I cut them shorter and make the castle start sooner then this would make more sense and then you can see that I actually did a thing leading off of the island the uh, floating castle island thing into the bridge so maybe I need to move these over a little I'm not sure I think they're alright where they are maybe when I put the castle up I'll add one more that's next to the castle so it looks good 
But that's the floating island that I did. Um, you guys have to let me know what you think. I put a lot of work into that thing. It took a while. Um, I mean, this is some leftover uh, from when I did the TNT that I need to fix. And some creepers have exploded over here. So I need to either fill this in with dirt or fill it in with water. For now, we're going to use dirt. And I'll debate if I want to actually fill it with water later. Or, um... Just make it stop here. So I might just fill it in with land. Or, or something, I don't know. Hey look, it's raining. Bargain creepers are going to come out now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're out of dirt. So I'll probably just level it out and then kind of angle the river a little bit past it. Or angle the water past it a little. So it'll come like diagonally this way. So you have a little bit more water, but it's I'll still build the land up. There, so what we gotta do now is make our way back up top here. Into the into the castle keep. Into the floating island. Yeah, I'll have to make an easier way to get up here, maybe, later. And actually, we're going to go do some uh, TNT explosions. Since I know everybody loves seeing things go boom. At least I love seeing things go boom. And the place where we see things go boom at is over here. So in the waterfall, or in the fountain, is a secret entrance. It takes you down into the heart of the castle. So, you know, you have the big castle up top, but this is kind of really the heart of the fortress. As you can see, I've already prepared the TNT explosions. I did little 3x3 um, three three rooms, 15 back, on each side here. And that's... Um, we're going to ignite those. I've done it there. And I've done it over here. And what these are basically is we're trying to clear out all this space going back on both sides. And because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... We're going to keep this little section up top here. And we're going to build these walls all the way up. And we'll put some, some pathing behind the walls to get around. But then we're going to have it go down into a larger area that goes back all the way around and then that's going to go all the way down to bedrock and then we're going to build up some water and some levels and we're going to make it kind of a, a big giant circular area that has paths that lead to different sections of the the real heart of the castle you know like we'll have underground uh, farms and we'll have underground you know like the nether portal and stuff like that we're going to put that all underground really deep underground so that's, and so I kind of put the brewing stand here for some speed potions. And then I also uh, put the enchantment table here so we can do enchanting of our pickaxes as we make them. So that way I don't, you know, I can utilize my pickaxes to the best of my ability. As you can see, I have no levels because I've used all my levels in enchanting. Uh, I'll have to go sit by the uh, spawner again. I've actually been using the big monster spawner instead of the skeleton one for the uh, gunpowder. Because I've been making tons of freaking TNT to do all this work. So, but let's go ahead and uh, let's make this go boom. So we'll start with this one here. And there we go.
Yeah, that was nice. Nice, awesome explosions. And it leads back here into my... Into some tunnels. That I've already previously explored a little. Not bad. So what we'll do here though. Uh, we don't want to use that. We'll use cobblestone. Is we want to kind of fill this in so we can run on it for now. Yes, I know we're gonna end up taking in taking it down later. But we don't want to fall. We want this to kind of stay here for a little bit. We're going to level out. We're going to pick up everything that we need. Yeah. Gosh dang it, I keep misclicking. I don't think we're going to run out of cobblestone anytime soon. Forget it. Yeah, that was awesome. Great explosion. Did exactly what I wanted it to do. It cleaned house. I mean, it did a pretty good job, actually, if you look. great. It looks like it actually connects to that big area that we've seen before. Yeah. And that's down in some of the other caves we've explored in the other ravines. Yeah, nice. Oh, we need some more torches. Now, somewhere over here, it's probably, yep, I didn't get that far. I know it should be like right here. There it is. This actually goes up to the surface. So it's easy to get down here. Come on. Yeah, see it comes right up here beneath, so it's easy to get down now. And this actually came down into this area, but now because of what we just did, it kind of stops here now. Which is good, because now we can kind of expand. Expand that, and we can kind of start branching the, uh, I mean, that, that it just, I can't even talk today, geez. Uh, Having the cave system beneath us here makes it easy for us to ex to dig down because we don't have to blow up as much. We don't have to dig as much um, stone out. It's already done for us. We technically, I mean, it's it just doesn't. It's not there. It's not that it's done for us. It just doesn't exist. And that makes this a little bit easier of a project to kind of expand down. Um, what I'm actually working on is is I'm I got some graph paper and I'm trying to diagram out how big I want this circle to be 
that we're going to create underneath the ground. And once I have that figured out, then I will uh, really know how far to expand from the center of the room and I'll be able to, to kind of map that out and start blowing up and get the base uh, be able to get like the base of it done see so I'll have like 10, 10 blocks high base circle and then I'll just start going around the edges and blowing it and blowing it up down towards bedrock until we get down the bedrock and that's how we'll expand it is we'll just you know take it a level at a time and I'm just doing that for now so we can kind of get an idea of how much more we need to go I mean I want to blow out all of this up here clear it out flatten it and then move down to the next you know five by five section because that's about what TNT blows up if I recall is a five by five radius so what I need to do is just kind of map out how much we need to, how much space we need to actually destroy and then fill it full of TNT and do this again. I mean that cleared out a ton of space in a matter of a few seconds with TNT. So we have one more over here to blow up. Is this section over here? We're going to need some more torches though. And some sticks. Alright. So yeah, check that out. Another awesome explosion. At least this saves my pickaxes too, you guys. I mean, I don't have to worry about wasting my pickaxes trying to to get all this stuff up. So it's pretty nice. Oh wow, there's a ravine there. Gotta love gravel. I actually need to switch to the new texture pack for the 1.3 that's going to come out. Um, I did update it with my clear glass because I have a I created a clear glass texture pack using the default textures, and the only thing I changed was the glass texture because I hate I hate the way the glass is in this game. I'm just the default glass look. I like a clear texture to glass because glass you should be able to look out and see what you're looking at it shouldn't be you know squiggly lines through it and that's just my opinion I guess and that, well I, I know a lot of people feel that way because I think Mediafire listed I think six seven hundred downloads of that texture pack now since I put it up there months ago so I was pretty happy with it I mean it I didn't expect people to really love it, but a lot of people, I guess, don't like the glass. So, hey, you know, more power to them. I f think that if you want something different, go for it. And I just got tired of the, of the glass, and I couldn't find a default texture pack that didn't try to change half the textures. I mean, I don't mind cobblestone. I don't mind the stone. I don't mind stone bricks. I think they all look great. My only qualm was with the glass. And so I went ahead and created a custom texture pack that had a clear glass. And I think I have a link to it in my description of my videos. If not, I will make sure it is in there for anybody that would like a clear glass default texture pack. 
and I'll be putting a link to the new version as well as soon as I test it which should be sometime today after this video once this video starts uploading I'll test that actually yeah, I actually have because my my default internet here is so slow I I have a uh, secondary connection through a uh, wireless uh, it's basically it's like a 3G but a little bit faster since I live in Hong Kong it's right it's easier to get my hands on that here and so its upload is I think 2 megabit where my DSL that I have in my house is only 768 because they're cheap and that's the best I can get in the village house that we live in and so um, I use my netbook with uh, the USB with the basically the USB 3G dongle and I upload my videos so I can still work on my next group of videos while I'm uploading kinda saves time and doesn't kill my connection or utilize my PC I mean because all I'm doing is uploading the video I just copy it to my uh, my network storage and then send that video to YouTube and it works great I haven't had any problems yet it's been pretty nice Let's see, grab these resources. Hey, look. Let's hold. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to fill this all in with you guys. I'm just kind of getting the, the bulk of it. And trying to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to do here. Let's get rid of this gravel. I hate the gravels. I mean, it's good because it saves me some time, but at the same same regard, it's uh, just annoying. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. It's just as bad as anything else, really. All right. I guess there was a lot of dirt in that area because it got a. I far uh, it was far deeper than the areas around it. No stone, cobblestone. And then we'll throw another torch down over here. And I'll actually be working on setting up the next group of explosions for this to clear out more space. That way we can start getting the area the way we want for expansion. I, and I do do a lot of off-camera work because I don't want you guys to have to sit through, I mean, this constantly. So, I mean, if you guys tell me what you want me to build, I'll work on it. This is kind of like my side project, the uh, the depths of the castle, I guess you could say. It's kind of like my... Uh, I have it in my head how I want it to look and so I'm just trying to get that vision from inside of my head out into the, the actual game which isn't as easy as it sounds it sounds a lot easier than it actually is which you know I mean I guess it's fine but in the same regard I wish it was a little simpler. I mean, I bet you there's a program out there where I could design it beforehand and then go in and it'd tell me build it this layer by layer by layer. But I don't think that's as as much fun as just figuring it out and trial by error. I guess is the way I like to go. if you learn by trial, if you learn tri you know, through trial by error, then you understand better. And then your next project, I think, is easier in to some degree. I 
because you've already learned from your previous mistakes and you tend not to make those same mistakes more than once at least most people tend not to and I have a couple friends that want to do some videos together I'm not sure what we're gonna play yet be that it's Minecraft or uh, Borderlands or something but they've been bugging me like dude let's do a video I'm like alright so hey maybe we'll even do some uh, Uh, who knows? I don't know what sounds fun. Maybe some. I oh, some good multiplayer games out there right now. I mean, like besides Minecraft. I don't know. We'll figure something out. I know there's a bunch of games that a lot that my that my buddies want to try playing that we haven't had a chance to try yet. I do have some indie games that I've heard are pretty good. I'll have to go check out Steam and see what they have available right now for purchase and see if there's anything really cool that's coming out soon that I can try. So if you have a suggestion, go ahead and leave it. But I mean, remember, it has to be a PC game. I don't have access to an HD card, and I actually don't even own a TV. Imagine that. I don't own a television. Um, my plasma TV got left in the U.S. when we moved. And in Hong Kong, I haven't really felt the need to buy a TV, because my, lap my laptop and my computer pretty much do everything a TV would. I mean, I can watch videos, and... I mean, I could record video games, I just need to get an input card. So I can input the signal from an Xbox or a PlayStation through my PC input. And then that would allow me to record like a PlayStation or Xbox or whatever. Which might not be a bad idea at some point. To record some, uh, some non-PC game videos. Um, actually, I'm thinking I might do some Diablo 3. I've really enjoyed playing that, and I've been thinking of doing a Let's Play with it, and my computer can handle recording it. I tested it the other day just to see how it would look. So after I get this video processed and uploading, maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll start working on a, a Diablo 3 Let's Play. Though I'm, I'm not sure which class I want to play on an LP. My favorite so far is the Monk. He's just freaking tough. Um, Demon Hunters are pretty cool. The Witch Doctor, I, I'm still playing, so maybe I'll do a Witch Doctor. Since uh, I only have, I have a really low level one, and I can restart that one, so you guys can see the game from scratch. Or maybe I'll just pick up where I'm at. I don't know. I think a Let's Play needs to be done from the start. So that's what I'm probably going to work on next, is a Diablo 3 Let's Play. And maybe we'll make a uh, Witch Doctor. Wizards are pretty cool too, but Witch Doctors, man, I hear they're pretty they're pretty tough towards the end game. So I might have to do a couple, look at some other YouTuber videos on the uh, classes and see which one. See which class looks like it's going to be the most interesting to do a Let's Play with. I think you can make anything interesting if you uh, do it right. So I guess it's all going to be dependent on what I want to play versus what I've already played. Because I already I do have a a level 54 monk that I've been working on with my brothers. So I'm probably going to keep that monk with my brothers. But I'm actually going to probably do a Witch Doctor for my my uh, Let's Play, I think. Because Witch Doctors are pretty cool. The only thing is, I don't know if I can name a Witch Doctor Torhan. It just doesn't work. Torhan's like a wizard, or Torhan's a, uh, a monk. Or Torhan is a, a warrior. I don't know that he's a Witch Doctor. 
But Torhan is my character name I use on everything, so it'll probably end up being Torhan. And that's the cool thing, actually, is you can create the you can use the same character name for all your characters in Diablo 3. Because they don't they don't restrict it by character name, it's by your account. So your account can have the same character name for every character. Which I thought was kind of cool. Alright, so let's check this out. So and it's actually pretty good destruction going that way. I like it. And if you come over to this one, I mean it's just it's pretty awesome. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clear out all the way over. And then we're gonna clear out all the way over. So essentially we're just gonna clear out that same distance back on each of these. And then we're going to go down. And we're just going to continue going level by level by level. And we'll just use TNT for it. It'll be the easiest way. And I'll pro probably do some sort of like a staircase or something to get down. Or I'll wall off this entire section up here. I'll wall it all off. And then we'll have like a... I group a section here that goes down and maybe we'll do that I'm not sure yet how I want to handle that but I'm thinking that might be pretty cool and what we'll do is we'll do like a 9 by 9 or a, if it's not a 9 by 9 we'll do a 5 by 5 and we'll make it so that way the middle of that is the column that goes up with the ladder and then everywhere else like to the sides next to the ladder the four blocks next to each side will be water that's two or three deep it'll be three deep water so you can drop so not from this level but like we'll have this five by five cleared out so you can just walk off the edge and drop down to uh, to the very bottom without having to take the ladder all the way down or something. I don't know. I'll figure out a cool way to get down. That's simple and easy. But yeah, you guys, this is kind of it for my update. Um, I wanted to show you guys the demolishing and let you guys check that out. And then what we're going to do next is basically just keep demolishing. And I'll probably do a lot of it off camera and then come back when I've kind of gotten it down to bedrock so you can get an idea. And then I'll probably even try to throw an image of what I want it to look like into one of the videos and show you guys after I've had a chance to um, draw it out on paper. But that's it, you guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions or whatever, you want to see something really cool, go ahead and post that in the comments and let me know. Or you can message me on YouTube. That works too. But yeah, you guys, I really appreciate all of your support and hope everybody's having a great day. And I will catch everybody later. Thanks, everybody. Peace.